leaving Flying J in uh, Knoxville West, Tennessee. Наступна зупинка. The next stop is uh, Mount Vernon, Kentucky. Yeah, I'm heading towards uh, Knoxville because I was still west. And I spent probably an hour, hour and a half at that uh, truck stop because I was I was trying to charge my uh, drone battery because after the first flight it got completely uh, you know flat but turns out that battery you cannot charge it like from a simple uh, converter but I got a basic converter this one it doesn't provide enough juice in the truck to charge the drone battery so when I went to the restaurant, one of the reasons was uh, to get it charged. And so I asked for a table where there was a plug-in. And I stayed there probably an hour, but still the battery is almost full, but yet not full yet. And yeah, so what happened yesterday is that I, I had an amazing time flying the thing. I didn't have any... Um, any problems except that I you know I could see on the phone the, the the video so I was assumed it was recording because I could see what the drone was able to see from the top like it was an amazing it was a live feed but turns out that unless you tell the drone from the software to record it it's not recording it like uh, by default and so we're gonna fix that now I learned where it is like it's little button on the screen on the smartphone uh oh way station open next right that's always uh, a good thing you know you meet new people And with an oversized load like that, there's always a chance of getting a ticket. Because there's always some paper that's missing somewhere. And like, not my fault, but oh, where is this thing? I have no idea. No, we're good. They checked my permit. And the guy signed it. Tennessee uh, DOT. And he said, here you go. He said, thank you, sir. I like to keep these uh, encounters with uh, DOT brief, short and sweet. So the downside of that uh, stop at the Flying J was that my black truck got extremely hot inside. That's why I have my AC on like full blast. So I was sitting for an hour and it's probably like 95F right now. Alright, Knoxville, here I come. So I'm just taking uh, 4075 uh, east to Knoxville, then grabbing that bypass. What is it, 675? And heading northwest towards uh, Kentucky. And that's two hours. I found the truck stop on uh, Tracker Path put it in 
just over 200 kilometers that's how I like it and then of course I'm going into uh, Ohio going through Cincinnati and crossing in Detroit uh, Windsor Ontario and my delivery is uh, near Hamilton Ontario Stony Creek I guess there's a dealer uh, that sells these uh, buckets so far so good Bye bye Tennessee. Hello Kentucky. Well, uh, this is a small truck stop in uh, Mount Vernon, Kentucky. Just off uh, I-75, I think it's exit uh, 59. So I left the truck. I went inside to grab some, uh, and grab a drink, and I left the truck outside. Look, 42C. Okay, I gotta get it get it right this time. So 42C hundred and seven F. So 42C is hundred and seven F. Unbelievable. Maybe I should leave it for now in uh, Fahrenheit. Okay, 106 now. What's going on? Clouds. Okay, I figure you know. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep temperature in Fahrenheit when I'm in US and once I cross into Canada I'll switch it to uh, Celsius but I like kilometers because you see I can change units in there right I can change kilometers to miles but I like kilometers they're more and more exact more accurate Okay, uh, break taken. So 182 kilometers, which is 60 plus 50, 110 miles. That's my next stop is uh, that uh, big flying J in uh, what is it? Walnut? No, <laughs> not Walnut. What's the? Just south of Cincinnati. Why am I saying Walnut? Walton. Walton, Kentucky. Ah, uh, yeah, so I don't have to, you know, because today is Friday. Uh, I'm gonna be in trouble tomorrow because uh, this uh, Friday restriction after 3, you cannot drive in Ontario, but uh, they told me I can deliver on Monday, you know, so I'm not in a big rush. So. I'll just need to uh, read my permits, see if I'm allowed to drive on, on the weekend with this thing. Okay, I got a bio. Uh, so that's the next state right after Kentucky. Okay, wait a second. It's four o'clock and they still didn't, didn't send me uh, my Michigan permits. So if they go home at five and I don't have Michigan, I won't be able to cross the border between Ohio and Michigan and I'm crossing the border in Windsor so it's only like you know 47 miles right from Toledo to to Ambassador Bridge but I need a permit there's a scales over there all right let's get going the, the last stretch and I think I'll just stop in uh, in Walton because I want to fly my uh, quadcopter sitting over there and I charge the um, the remote the you know this thing but I cannot charge the uh, the main battery on, on this on the thing because I mentioned it's mine is too weak right and I wanted to do it over here while I stop but now I don't have time I want to get going 
otherwise the truck stop you know will be all full so the plan is to go inside the truck stop I'll go take a shower because I know I have some bonus points now I, I bought uh, fuel in uh, Knoxville West Tennessee so I have points I'll go take a shower and while I'm taking a very long shower I'll plug in the battery because they always have uh, outlets electric outlets inside and then uh, hopefully nobody's gonna bother me and I'm really anxious to see how the camera works on that thing you know 